Ryan Cohen took control of GameStop in 2021, but since then, e-commerce sales have declined, losses have grown, and numerous online sales executives brought on board by Cohen have left GameStop. Last year, Cohen shifted the focus from e-commerce to roughly 4,400 brick-and-mortar stores. Ryan Cohen argues that it can be it can use its brick-and-mortar stores to support its declining e-commerce business by using the stores like mini fulfillment centers, where the store employees would package and mail online orders to local customers or provide for store pickup. GameStop shares have declined by roughly 70% since Ryan Cohen took over GameStop in June of 2021. That day alone saw the shares surge by more than 40%. These days, most people purchase their video games and download them from the internet, which has deeply affected GameStop's store-oriented business model. At this point, I've stopped playing PlayStation or Nintendo myself, and uh, I just play computer games that I download from Steam. GameStop is trying to expand its business beyond new and used video games. Quarter after quarter, GameStop has been unsuccessful with new ventures. 2021 and 2022 saw GameStop experiment with products like television, scooters, and NFTs. When one new venture did not work out, management would quickly shift to something else. When GameStop reported earnings in March of 2022, it stated that inventory had increased 50% from 2021, and the company had experienced its first ever holiday quarterly loss. In March of 2023, GameStop recorded its first profit in two years, despite revenue declining by 1%.